a huge box just landed on my step this morning and I got a sneaky feeling it's the collector's edition from Retrobit for Valis. The Valis collection that was released on the Japanese Mega Drive and the American Sega Genesis got a full worldwide release and I'm hopefully gonna unbox it. My name's Mike and this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. I've been really looking forward to getting my copy, my collector's edition copy of Valis. It's a game that never came out over here in Europe. And before pre-ordering this, I actually went and played all three games, a preview of which you can see over here. And I've got to say, I loved Sid of Valis, but Valis 3, oh my God, what an amazing game. I can't wait to play that physically on my Sega Mega Drive. Right, let's open this box and check out the collector's edition of Valis. I've just received the parcel in the post and I think it's the Valis collection. Now, it also could be some shoes my wife ordered, in which case this is gonna be a really short video, but let's hope it's the Valis collection. I'm just gonna carefully open this up here. I did once when I had a, ordered some games, put the blade in too deeply and scored the top of the box worst thing you can do in opening up anything. Right, what have we got? Lots of paper. Ha <laughs> it is! Excellent! Goodbye to you. Here is the Valis collection. Let's unbox it. So straight off the bat, I really, really like the box. I noticed this down the side here, so it's not like a sleeve where all the games are kind of slotted in. There's an actual construction around the box here, which looks awesome. So we'll get into that. Uh, we've got a little summary of what you get in the Valis collection there. We've got the standee. We've got the three different games with the different kind of cartridges, which looks awesome. I love this at the back here. It's kind of what you get on the uh, PlayStation and Xbox and Nintendo games, right? Little details on the actual specs of the game. And there, oh look, there it is. Ooh, so this must be the stand then. So here are the Valis games there, one, two, and three. And of course, the artwork on there. Right, how am I gonna open this? It looks like I think each individual game is also wrapped when you get this, so. Very carefully break the plastic there. Let's get this open. Oh, right, I thought it was gonna be bolted onto the side there. This is a separate box there. That's cool. It would have been awesome if it was actually part of a construction, you pulled this off and it was in the side there. So this, I guess, is the standee. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Actually, let's get into that now. We'll have a look at the games later. So this is the acrylic stand that you get. And we just need to open it here. Nothing in the lid. Once you open it, there's the stand. I think it's fallen out a bit. Let's see if we can shake it back into place. No, I can't shake it back into place. Okay, right, so what it's supposed to look like. There you go. There's the stand. Comes in three pieces. So we've got uh, the characters. There they are there. And of course, the stand, which has got retro bit on the top there. So let's put this together. And here's the stand complete. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. Now, if you're a diehard, diehard Valis fan, this is going to be an awesome little extra in the collection. So next up we have the individual games and these are also sealed. Let's start with one. So they've got this summary again over the top of the card. Everything you get with it. 
And then there's the artwork. I love that artwork. Okay, let's break this plastic open. Yeah, we go up the box. <laughs> we got close there. It's a thick packing plastic that they've got around this. Not the cheap stuff. So your game will arrive in great condition. Now, I'm sad. What I will end up doing is I will cut this piece of plastic out, uh, this label, and I'll stick it inside the box as well. That's how sad I am as a, a collector of games. But also a player. I'm looking forward to playing these games here. That's really nice. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a gloss character on a matte background. The attention to detail is really nice. Really nice. They do some absolutely great games. There we've got the cover art. That is excellent. That looks great. Right. Let's open it up. Here it is inside. Let's take a look at the cartridge first. So here's the Vallis cartridge. really nice. I like on the PCB they get some extra detail in there and again the sticker on the back here it's got that gloss gloss finish to it. You can see that just shining across it. Just nice attentions to detail there and it looks like in the back here it looks like in the back here there's a reversible cover as well so we'll check out the reversible cover in a second got a huge stack of extra bits here so first the manual it's a nice glossy finish to the manual there and then it is a full color manual as well full color manual that is nice look at this details on the characters obviously controls different levels and then you've got the Japanese instructions as well <laughs> brilliant I love those details really 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 nice next up we've got our cards so there's our collector's edition certificate 413 of 3500 so 3500 people ended up buying the Valis uh, collection and this is something really, really special about these collections that Retro put out. They only print as many as people order. And after that, they don't do reruns or anything like that. So it's your only chance to really get hold of these awesome kind of reruns and special collector's editions, which is really, really nice. So there's the certificate. And then we have some cards as well. These are chunky, thick cards. See, they've got gold trim down the edges as well. So these are something, again, if you're a massive Valis fan or you like the artwork, you can stick on something that holds them up and they'll stand up nicely, but some lovely artwork there as well. And of course, before we move on to the second Valis game, let's look at the reversible cover. Wow, look at that. Let's just uh, make sure this focuses. That is cool. I'm guessing this is the North American version of the cover as well. Pretty cool. Next up we got Valis 2 or Sid of Valis. Obviously Valis 2 slightly different to Sid of Valis. Sid of Valis got a complete art style change. Has this chibi art style to it. And again, the same level of detail. We've got this stick at the back. It here tells us all about what we get in the box and this absolutely amazing artwork. That is fantastic. So there's the box. The sleeve is lovely. And again, we've got that same thing going on there. That lovely gloss finish to the character on the back. 
Yes, look at that. Brilliant. I absolutely love that. I love the Japanese box art. They had some of the best box artwork. Right, what's inside? So similar to what we've got in Valis. So here's the Sid of Valis cartridge. Again, we've got all this gloss finish to the words. Same at the back there, we've got the logo on the PCB at the back. Very nice. And then our little character, we can see here has got that finish as well. Very, very cool. Then the full color manual. And again, it's just so well put together. All the characters, there's the different suits that you get. Really, really nicely put together. And obviously the Japanese instructions as well. Great attention to detail here. Lovely, lovely manual. And we have the certificate of authentication. 1,185, interesting. So they're not the same version of the game that you get. So you don't get, I think, what did I have last time? 300 and something. Um, and this one's 1,000. So you don't get the same numbered game as you do for each, each of the games in here, which is quite interesting. So this is copy 1,185 of Sid of Valis. And then we have the two cards and the artwork on these are amazing. I love the artwork on these. You can see there the light just hitting that reflective gloss surface there. Very nice. And the same on the back as well. They've done the same treatment on the back there. Again, lovely, lovely, lovely artwork. Really, really, really nice. And lastly, before we go on to the final Vanis game, we have the reversible cover as well. So let's remind ourselves, this is what we get. This is the Japanese version. And then there's the US version, I guess. Very cool. Definitely prefer this cover though. That artwork is brilliant, love it. And lastly in the set, we've got Valis 3. So again, let's just check out the back cover here. What a cool stuff. And then that artwork, look at that. It's like each cover gets more and more dynamic. It's so nice. All right, let's see if we can make it three out of three. Don't cut the box, Mike, don't cut the box. The artwork is so nice, so well done. Look at the character at the back. Awesome, right, here we go. Sleeve off, and then we have the Japanese artwork there. And the cutscenes in this game are so amazing. Like that looks like some kind of production art, but it's from the game. So, so, so cool. Right, let's open it up. Oh, look at that. Look at that certificate there. Can't wait to get into that. First, let's have a look at the cartridge. Here's the Valis 3 cartridge. Same deal as all the others. Logo on the PCB there and again that character with that gloss finish on the back there. Really great attention to detail. I can't say it enough. So impressed with the attention to detail in this collector's edition here. So here's the manual, that great artwork. 
And again, full color. Wow, this has gone a lot of pages to this one. Look at this artwork here. I'm assuming that's original 90s artwork there with the disproportioned character. And we've got the manga. Really, really nice. Definitely Valis 3, my favorite in the series on the Mega Drive. Got all the Japanese, obviously, in the same, in the back there. <laughs> it's so well put together. But this is why I collect physical games. It's all these little things. And I don't just stick them up on my shelf and leave them forever. You know, I love playing through these things. I love flicking through the manuals. Such an awesome, awesome addition, this. So, manual. This certificate looks great in blue. You can see all the little gloss embossing going on in the certificate as I roll the light over it. 580, this one. 580th version of the game. Now the art cards, and they are awesome. See the light reflecting off of the characters there. They've been printed separately with that gloss embossing. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning, amazing. Wow, this has been an absolutely fantastic unboxing of a collector's edition. Probably one of my best collector's edition I've ever added to my Mega Drive collection. And of course, before we finish off unboxing, let's have a look at this sleeve. Now this, <laughs> this reverse I won't be using. Uh, this is classic 90s art. <laughs> Look at that. That's terrible. That's great. That, uh... They drew the short straw on that one, didn't they? Japan definitely had... Why didn't they just use the Japanese artwork? Why would you go from this to saying, yeah, that's that's a good one. Let's put that out on the, uh, on the game in, the, in North America. Oh dear. Never mind. At least we've got this artwork. Hey, listen up. I've tried to tell you this a hundred times. Not getting better by lying there, pretending to cry. You all repeat, you can see. Cause you have closed your eyes You say you listen but you're missing what it's all about Stunning, stunning collector's edition. I can't believe how amazing it is. The build quality, the physical cartridges, just the attention to detail in each of the three games was absolutely amazing. If you're a Mega Drive Genesis fan, if you're a fan of physical collections, if you're a fan of the game Valis, this was absolutely amazing. I love what Retrobit have been doing lately with their physical collector's edition. 
only regret that I missed out on some of their earlier ones, like the Toplan Shooters collection and the Mega Man collection. I wish I had picked those up because now those go for a ton more on eBay. If I want to add those to collection, I'm going to be paying a lot more for them. So for me, lesson learned, whenever there's a retro bit collector's edition or any of these physical collector's editions that I really want to get for the Mega Drive or for your Genesis, definitely pick them up while you can. I'm going to go off and finish off playing Valus 3. I absolutely love it. Having never played it today, it feels like I've discovered another hidden gem on the Sega Mega Drive. Now before we go, I just want to say the copy that I got through in the post today is a pre-production copy. So these have been sent out a little bit early to people that are making videos on them. So I've got mine a little bit earlier, but Retrobit have said that the full editions are into production at the moment and that stores will be getting them pretty soon. So if you've ordered a copy of the Valis collection, don't worry, yours will be coming soon as well. Now, if you enjoy videos like this, if you love the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis, if you love 16-bit gaming, retro gaming in general, then why not consider subscribing to the channel? You can do this by clicking on a little button just below this video. We put out brand new videos every single week, and so that you don't miss them, you can also click on a little bell just below the video. Now, if you can't wait till next week, don't worry, because we've got a huge collection of retro gaming videos for you to enjoy, two of which you can watch, over here.